Hello everyone, this is Gustavo. I know it has been a while since I posted a long video, but I was quite busy. I had another priorities in my life. It is quite overwhelming to have a full-time job, create videos for Instagram and manage all the social media account, even consulting for people who are interested to come to Malta, studying a lot of stuff. Anyway, the thing is that I'm back. I'm going to do my best to keep posting videos constantly. And for today, I have prepared an interested one. Hope you like because if you are struggling speaking English, if you feel you are stuck, you don't see any progress, you are making more mistakes and you feel shy when socializing, I'm going to help you and together we are going to identify some of the possible mistakes you are making while speaking. I'm sorry if you see me sweating my face because it's 32 degrees in Malta, but I feel like 40 degrees. Let's begin. The first one, this is a quite popular mistake. Listen, all of these mistakes I'm going to mention, I personally pass through all of them. Still, sometimes I get involved in certain situations where I still feel insecure. That's totally normal. As no native English speaker, we need to continually be studying and practicing the language. So don't be so hard on yourself. Take it easy and enjoy the process. I'm here to inspire you and tell you that we all can learn. As I was saying, the first mistake is focusing only in grammar mistakes. When you are speaking, stop thinking all the times about grammar rules about if you need to put auxiliaries, verbs in the correct form. Leave your mind, start literally sending all the words in English to your mouth instantly. Don't stop. Speaking has to be a natural process. Use the words and expressions you remember. It doesn't matter if you know only few or even only verbs in present form or you are not sure about the pronunciation. Speak. Don't be shy thinking if people are going to notice your mistakes. Nobody had the right to judge you. You are learning everyone had been in the same place. Second, you need to learn how to listen. Instead of being thinking about what people are thinking about you, start opening your ears and memorizing how they pronounce the words, which type of expression they use, how they call the things around, places, and you will repeat the same words in the same way. That's what you need to do. Like a child, that's how we learned our modern language. This is a technique that I always use and is associate vocabulary with people. If my boss say, for instance, an expression like long story short, I will always think about him. So in future conversation, when I need to use that expression, I just think about my boss and I say to myself, mm, like my boss says, you know what I mean? What I recommend you listen topics that you like, for example, interviews, TV shows, YouTube, podcasts, find material and creators that speak clear and use vocabulary and accent you understand. If you are beginning, find basic topic to listen. Third, the third mistake is lack of practice. It is useless to memorize, have a lot of papers and notes everywhere if you don't practice. Everything you learn and memorize, you have to use it. You have to practice, otherwise you will forget it. So I encourage you to speak. Use the few words you know, make the most of them. An exercise that can help you a lot if you don't have someone to practice with is to start talking alone. Repeat what you are doing during the day. When you are at home cooking, for example, describe what you are cooking, how you are doing it. Repeat the ingredients. If you want to say something and you do now, write it down immediately or search for it online. Say it loud, repeat many times, practice conversation like that. And you know that practice makes perfect. Yes! Another idea I give you is find in your city groups or events where people speak English. Make new friends and English speakers. 
Do not be shy. Even if you have only simple questions to ask, just go for it. Break the ice with the strangers and find something to discuss. That's how you will overcome fear while speaking and even it will help you to be more confident. The third suggestion is try to do what I'm doing. Record yourself speaking. Then you can evaluate your fluency. Make a list of all the mistakes you are making, words that you are mispronouncing or repeating all the time. Furthermore, you can check your accent. And I also want to mention something. Do not be shy because you have an accent, especially at the beginning. If your main language is Spanish, you are going to sound Spanish. There is not a reason to feel that way. Eventually, by time, when you practice and deal with more conversation, your own English accent will appear. And listen to this. Do not look to sound like a native. Look to find a way to speak English clearly. That's essential. My God, it's too hot. Malta is boiling. And remember, to learn English takes time. So take it easy with constantly, with little daily practice, you will achieve it. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you find the mistakes you are making and the reason why you are stuck. Your English is not improving. You are not level up your English skill through this video. So that's it for today's video. Guys, I see you next week in a new video. Bye-bye.